Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And yes, if you look around here at our dealership, it is winter time, but you know what? The best part is the sun is shining. Alistair's over there on the tractor, plowing snow, making us look good. And hey, we got customers picking up new RVs. A Momentum 29G is rolling out of here up to Fort McMurray. Repeat customers trading in their Imagine bunk model. Loving Grand Design, we're loving Grand Design. And hey, we love shooting videos on our, uh, on our Grand Design product here at Woody's RV Leduc. This trailer here is a 310 GK. It is the beast, the number one selling solitude floor plan. And here they are, they're walking out of the dealership. Repeat owners, wave, hi. How's it going? Good. You're gonna be world famous. <laughs> Have fun in your new momentum. Oh, we will. <laughs> They love watching the videos. They told me earlier that they uh, they watch the videos and a big reason why they came down to Woody's RV in Leduc. So uh, appreciate the business, Justin and Tammy, and hope you guys have a wonderful time in your uh, new momentum. So again, sorry to deviate from the 310 GK, but today's an exciting day. Um, 310 GK, I call it the beast because this trailer, folks, for those people that don't want a gigantic, super long, 40 plus foot fifth wheel, but you want well-made, I mean, all Grand Design products are well-made, but if you want a well-made, luxury fifth wheel that is not gigantic, this trailer lengths out at, measures out at 34 feet, 11 inches in length. And I think that that's probably why, especially up here in Canada, we have provincial campgrounds. We go to tighter places where, you know, lots of trees and those sorts of things. And uh, this particular trailer is, you know, no longer than a lot of bunk model travel trailers out in the industry today. So if you've got, now I'm gonna preface this before I say it. You must know the specifications on your truck, payload capacity, tow capacity, this is a three quarter ton towable fifth wheel with the right three quarter ton. Hear my words, right three quarter ton. I've mentioned that in videos before in the last 310 GK video that I shot folks. Know your specifications, buyer beware. You gotta know your truck. Just because you have a three quarter ton does not mean you can pull this trailer. So again, be, be aware of what your vehicle can tow. So one ton, three quarter ton towable. The length is great. This is again, the solitude folks, right from its inception, 101 inches wide, okay? So it's wider than most other fifth wheels in the marketplace, which really allows them to, to offer a huge amount of living space in a shorter fifth wheel. Okay, the solitude is their, is their luxury fifth wheel at Grand Design. So we're gonna jump into it right up here on the front, front cap with Grand Design folks. Again, um, fully painted front cap, a lot of you know caps historically in the industry, gel coat caps, you get the discoloration coming down the front cap, the cloudiness. They use an automotive paint on their front cap, which is really, really nice. It's just gonna maintain the look for many years down the road. The other thing the graphics Grand Design uses is a, uh, a 3M graphic, comes with a five-year warranty, higher UV protection, all of those things. So we've had solitudes that are five, six years old get traded in folks, and the graphics look pristine, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, again, the front caps that Grand Design uses folks are a structure cap. So this one's got a few more smoother edges compared to the momentum, but they do design and engineer into that front cap, all, you know, certain grooves and, and definition on that cap because you want a squarely built trailer. And when you're putting that cap, it seals in the front end of your trailer. You want that cap going on square. If it's not going on square and they cinch those screws down, it can potentially knock your trailer out of alignment somewhat. Um, slide outs don't necessarily work as well. It's a little tighter, uh, those sorts of things. So Grand Design, squarely built product. They tow beautifully. Folks, I've pulled, pulled hundreds of trailers over the years uh, up and down the highway through Alberta and Alberta does not have the smoothest roads. And I can tell you with certainty that Grand, the Grand Design trailers pull the most beautiful. They're so well balanced, so well engineered, all those things. So um, I can talk and talk about this. You know, things like this, the air dam that they design on the base of their fifth wheel front caps helps break up that wind that's hitting the front cap so you don't get that vortex in the back of your truck throwing things out of the box of your truck. Okay, more ride kingpin. This is a new addition for the 2020. Okay, this replaces the, um, the trail air version um, of what they used to put on. So rather than pivoting this way, like the trail air, this 
moves back and forth. There's a big rubber bushing in here. And what that does is it helps reduce the amount of chucking you get when you're putting your brakes on and accelerating. Uh, if you don't have something like this, um, you know, what can happen is you can get some clunking on your hitch. So this helps just create for a, a smoother ride. Um, as well as they've done the CRE 3000, and I'll show you when we get to the tires, but they've gone to the more ride uh, suspension system on this as well, which, uh, you know, just from a towability perspective, helps eliminate a lot of the road vibration, helps that tire free flow more inside the wheel well, rather than just up and down like a standard leaf suspension. So, you know, going through campgrounds, potholes, speed bumps, those sorts of things just helps create for a, a much smoother ride. Um, I option our, our solitudes out pretty well. So if you wanted to do completely off the grid style, I do pre-wire, uh, uh, add the option for the generator pre-prep on that. That's what that metal shroud is in that storage compartment there. It also includes all of the plumbing. Uh, you would put a propane generator, 5,500 watt Onan in there, and it would tie in right to your propane tanks. Um, and then the wiring is all up inside the, the trailer as well. The other thing from an off-grid perspective uh, that I've optioned out, which is a new feature for the Solitude folks, and I'll jump up on the roof there hopefully soon. There is a layer of snow up there, so we'll see how safe it is, but it does come with a, as, as an option. I optioned it out, 300 watt Jaboni solar panel um, with the 2000 watt pure sine wave uh, inverter as well, Magnum. So, uh, you know, again, off-grid, if you're, if you're in a campground uh, and they're not allowed allowing you to run a generator after a certain time but you want to watch your entertainment and you don't you know you know you don't have the ability to plug into power you can watch your you know watch your TV right off your uh, right off your batteries and grand design wires to that inverter every plug inside the trailer so you're not limited to uh, you know a pl one plug in the living room one in the kitchen one in the bedroom they wire everything up which is great uh, again, pass-through storage on the Solitude folks, the full-blown Solitude, they use the Lippert Z-rated chassis. And how you tell the difference is there's a, an I-beam, a 10-inch I-beam here. This is the drop frame portion. That's that beam. See where that sticker is? That's that drop portion of, this, of the chassis. Uh, and then it goes back up to your 10-inch to your, um, uh, I-beam as well. So with that drop frame, what that does is it gives you a seamless flat floor from one side to the other. Remember, eight and a half feet wide. With that drop frame, Grant, the Solitude has one of the tallest storage compartments in the industry, folks. So if you've got bigger items you wanna put in this pass-through storage, you can typically get it done, okay? Which is really, really nice. But again, you wanna see the quality. It's a little difficult now. They've added the uh, the electric power cord reel on the Solitude, which is a really nice touch as well. Bigger power cords, 50 amp power cords, sometimes they're hard to spool up. Uh, so they're giving you that as a, as a built-on feature now. Uh, but again, if you count Grand Design, the studs, thicker gauge, fully bead welded double side bead weld that it's not screwed together like some products in the industry they're not cheapening out and eliminating studs to save weight or cost and those sorts of things that's very rigid very very strong also I'll show you I'll zoom in on it satellite roof access so grand design on all the solitudes folks um, as well as the momentums they give you a conduit Okay, that's, see that sticker there? There's gonna be satellite roof access. So there's a conduit that runs right from, your, from this uh, storage compartment all the way up to your roof. So mounting a satellite dish, they have that conduit to be able to run all that wiring down and hook up to your coax cable in your, in your underbelly really, really easy. So they're thinking of, of the end user. And if you're a bit of a handyman and you want to install your own satellite dish, uh, fill your boots, you can get it done in this. So, okay. Um, Utility compartment, again, true to form, Nautilus P1 Utility Center, uh, first class all the way. You've got the black tank flush. Um, you know, you've got all your, your colored uh, diverter valves, all of those things for dry camping, to do a power tank fill, to winterize, to backfill your fresh water tank if you run out of fresh water, which I don't know why you would because you've got a 93 gallon capacity with this trailer, but you could literally hypothetically fill up your fresh water tank right out of a bucket of water using your water pump. You've got an outside shower connection, water pump switch, um, little blue lights, <clears throat> flip this on here activates the blue lights on the bottom side of your slide out here so you don't get that big massive flood light you know if you're walking around here at night the little led blue lights 
barely uses any power if you're off your batteries, but it helps illuminate. Less chance you're going to smack your head on your slide out when it's extended. So whole house water filtration system, gate valves all up inside the heated and enclosed end area. This is a heated compartment as well. There's the heat duct and you've got your, your low point drain valves up inside this heated area as well. And then you've got the porthole access to be able to run your fresh water line up inside. You know, there's a light in here. You can keep this locked and closed, which makes, you know, utilizing the utilities on the trailer really, really easy. Even things like this, the control panel for your auto leveling system, which is hydraulic on this, they bring it out towards you. It's not jammed underneath uh, where it's a lot harder to see. You know, you can operate your leveling system right from the convenience. You can kind of stand forward here a little bit and uh, just makes hooking and unhooking uh, from your truck a whole, much, whole bunch more easy. Um, hot water heater, gas electric, 12 gallon tank on the Solitude. And then you've got your 35,000 BTU suburban furnace as well, all on the off door side. You know, you're not gonna be blowing that, blowing that heat uh, into your camp space, but you'll see fully enclosed underbelly. This has the rail tight system. So if you can see, try to get my hand, right up underneath here, there's a, a piece of aluminum, that, that kind of that gray piece that's so right here. So that runs the perimeter, they call it the rail tight. That runs the perimeter of the underbelly. And what that does is it just helps ensure that the underbelly is fully sealed, uh, helps keep that heat inside. Uh, you basically have two ways your tanks are heated on this trailer, folks, and that's off your 12 volt heat blankets, which there's a switch inside for that. They're all thermostatically controlled. And then you also have your, uh, your furnace heat as well, pumping down into that area. So whereas some manufacturers just use the screws and then they end up having gaps and heat spilling out, you know, less chance for rodents and those sorts of things to jump up inside the, uh, the trailer as well. But wherever you've got plumbing coming out, they spray foam and just really ensure they're doing a good seal job on the underbelly of their trailer. We'll show you the undersides of their slides, folks. Super clean, super smooth. They don't use any Darko woven fabric, which a lot of manufacturers, I don't know why they're still using it on the bottom parts of their slides. There's a lot of friction and movement there when you're moving your slides in and out. And that Darko woven fabric over time as your slides go in and out will open up. Uh, we've seen it time and time again, you know, with this particular product, Grand Designs ensuring long-term usability, less chance of moisture intrusion and all of those things uh, in their products, which is good. Uh, sidewall construction, Grand Design uses a laminated um, uh, sidewall construction. So every, I call it every vertical wall panel, your rear, your rear wall of the trailer, your slide walls, your slide out end walls, even the roof of your slide outs are fully laminated, insulated aluminum framed, just like your side walls are. So very, very strong, very rigid walk on slide boxes. Uh, you know, for example, they put ladders on the backs of everything they build because they want you to be able to access they want you to be able to access the roof of your slide to be able to sweep off the tops of your slide outs, you know, change a roof vent if you have to, uh, do some roof sealant touch-ups, all those sorts of things, okay? Uh, on the Solitude, they give you the Lamalux 4000, so it has a, a layer of gel coat put over top of it, just kind of like a boat hull, so you don't see the fibers of the fiberglass like some other products in the industry that are, you know, the Solitude would compete against. Uh, also, flush mount frameless windows, they louver outwards, so if it is raining, uh, um, you know, you can leave your window open without water coming in and they got a really nice high-end look. We do I also option in because this is a fully winterized trailer. I do option in the thermal pane insulated window. So it's a dual pane glass. Um, since we're on that topic, uh, the R values on the Solitude folks, R40 through your roof and down your front cap. Um, you've got, because it's a two and a quarter inch sidewall, it's one of the thicker walls in the industry, you actually get an R11 in your sidewall, okay? Uh, and then your floor, right through your floor, they run a double bath insulation, um, R45, okay? And so, again, if you are the type of person that wants to do some cold weather use, we've sold a lot of solitudes and momentums to fellas and, 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 and couples that, you know, live in them in the winter time, oil field workers, spending a lot of time. Uh, Grand Design is just really ensuring the, the, the way they manufacture will cover all the different types of climate that you can uh, you can get into. Still, with the salt, you know, it doesn't matter what RV you have, if you're getting to minus 45, minus 50, which we can get up here sometimes, doesn't matter what RV you have, you still got to do certain things. But with Grand Design on their products, folks, they've temperature tested this to minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus four Fahrenheit, do the conversion. Uh, it's all the same and uh, really doing all the right things with it. So um, you've got your, uh, also with this trailer, if you ever wanted to put a bike rack in the back, 
or you know a, a tray that's a 3,000 pound hitch, 300 pound hitch rating. You could put a tray there with some firewood on it. Um, you could pull something behind if you wanted. They do give you the flat four wiring. So if you got a little flat deck with a with a quad you want to put on it, or fishing boat, that sort of thing, um, you know Grand Design uh, gives you that that ability. Pre-wire for your rear vision camera. Also your front side marker lights. It's pre-wired as well. So with the Fury and camera kit, I'll just jump up there and show you. With the Fury on camera kit, you can. Get Get the side cams as well which backing up when you jackknife sometimes you're only staring at the side of the trailer and you kind of lose that peripheral vision when you're when you're backing up sometimes so with this camera uh, kit you can hook it onto the the marker light on each side and it will bring up your turning lane as the perspective of where the, where the trailer is turning still giving you the visibility to be able to see and back into those tighter places okay also the base of the trailer along the entrance side here down the whole trailer it has the ground kit uh, lighting as well so you can turn that on at night it'll illuminate the base of the trailer uh, creates a really cool lick look and it's tied in with your uh, LED lighting up on your front cap as well which is really cool um, the awning patio space on this trailer folks you've got a 16 foot power awning on the front from the door forward and then you've got a 10 foot 4 inch uh, awning on the outside wall of the slide out as well so uh, beautiful patio space on this trailer if you're in a campground and there's a tree in the way and you can only use one of your awnings hey you've got two awnings you're not just limited to to one awning on the trailer which is uh, which is nice shoot in on the tires Dexter towing system always on the grand design folks uh, product folks five-year warranty on the axles of course it's a little dirty this just showed up so you're looking at this trailer as it just arrived from the manufacturer which is really really nice it's gone through that 2,000 mile shake test and you're seeing it grand design in their uh, in their truest form of how they build we're not the last 80 feet of the assembly line but uh, back to the towing system five-year warranty on the axles the uh, easy lube hubs you can do a a full wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway you just lift up the side of the trailer get the tires in the air hook up the grease gun cycle the grease in and it'll shoot out the old grease around the end of the grease gun as you're spinning the tire real nice never adjust brakes that Westlake Lions head tire gives also gives you a five-year warranty uh, 12 months no questions asked replacement which is nice dual 7,000 pound axles um, one thing I forgot to uh, show you on the entrance side, I get rambling sometimes and I overlook things, but I just want to show you GVWR on this trailer, folks, is 15 thousand pounds right there the unloaded vehicle weight as it came off the assembly line is 12,578 pounds giving you a cargo carrying capacity of 2,362 pounds which is really nice for this size of trailer like you can pack a lot of gear in here remember you've got 93 gallons worth of fresh water capacity with this trailer 100 gallons of gray capacity gigantic and then you've got a 50 gallon black tank one toilet one black tank so uh, again they're maximizing the capacities here's that pass-through storage here better shot of the underbelly the amount of aluminum tubing that they use the battery disconnect switch um, central vac is here as well with the porthole access if you want to vacuum out your vehicle you can back it up beside your trailer and vacuum out your your, your tow vehicle motion sensor lighting 110 coax cable connections all that stuff so there's the bag with all the goodies for your central vac as well so again this particular trailer folks you could outfit it drop a generator in and you are off the grid completely um, again that you've got the rise above step it's getting a little frozen in the, the snow on the ground but it's kind of like a laptop lid makes lifting the uh, the step in and out of the trailer so much nicer um, plus it you know if you got to adjust the feet it's self-supporting so you're not having to stand there and hold and support that step all by yourself as you're monkeying with these steps to, or these legs to get them to the right height so that your step sits level uh, so you know they're thinking if you don't like this step folks grand design they're also thinking on underneath we can actually notch the uh, j-wrap out they still put the hangers there we can put a traditional step on if you so choose if you're not a big fan of this type of step not everybody is you want more of the traditional step we can put that on very very easily uh, which is no problem so we're going to, going to uh, you know what, I'm going to climb up, climb up the ladder and just, and just do it and show you guys there is a bunch of snow up there, so I don't know what you'll be able to see exactly, but uh, we're going to check it out. Stay tuned. Okay, we're, we're up on the video here, and they've got the photo going right now of our uh, second time around Grand Design buyers picking up their trailer.
getting the photo, loving it. They just told me they're going down to Moab in a month. They're big mountain bikers. It's a toy hauler. They're not even putting a quad or an ATV in the back. It's for their mountain bikes and going out and having a blast. And uh, I just love seeing all the smiles. So anyway, um, this, this roof's covered in snow. It's not too safe to walk around on it because it's a bit slick. So yes, I am standing on the slide box where it's nice and clear. We keep the slide outs closed on our lot in the winter time just because we don't want snow piling up on top of them. Uh, just makes, you know, moving the lot around a whole lot nicer. But again, true to form, this is a wide open and hollow slide box, folks. Okay, so there is no flex underneath my feet. Like this, this slide box is built strong. A lot of manufacturers, will products will not allow you to walk on top of your slide out because it's just a wood sheet up up there on a lot of slide outs folks grand design again they laminate insulate aluminum frame fully bead weld and laminate just like the sidewalls on their trailers so uh, right from the back here folks on the roof again grand design you'll see the dual air conditioning units on top of the roof here 15,000 BTU as BTUs of AC power I option in the heat pump on them as well typically um, so you know if you're camping it's a little cool outside you don't necessarily want to run your, your your furnace propane or maybe you're out of propane and you just want to warm up the inside of your trailer this rear AC has the heat pump uh, built built right into it um, I'm also I also optioned and I mentioned it earlier the solar and inverter package on this as well okay this is a new option for Grand Design uh, on on their solitude and momentum products so this is a 300 watt Jaboni solar panel and it comes with a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter so again I'm big off-grid style camping you can put the gen on this if you want um, but with the solar if you park your trailer in the storage compound you're not having to mess around with batteries and taking them out and bringing them to your house and putting the charger on and the solar panel does the work between the camping trips which makes using your RV just that much easier um, things you, you know right up here on the trailer you can't necessarily see um, they do put attic vents in all of their trailers because they want your trailer to be able to breathe the roof of your trailer um, it helps keep the heat in it helps keep uh, you know the in, in the colder temperatures it helps let that heat escape uh, when the sun is beating down on it helps with the moisture getting the moisture out of the trailer a lot of products that have laminated roofs folks they're more susceptible to delamination you don't have to worry about that with a grand design roof it handles the snow load full walk-on 16 inch on center uh, wood trusses designed to handle that weight much higher tensile strength than a, an aluminum truss and that's the type of roof that you see all the way that golden thread of consistency that Grand Design talks about is interwoven between all of their brands this is the same type of roof that you get on a transcend on an imagine on a reflection because that is the best way to build a roof and so that's what they put on all of their products okay you've got the wine guard uh, TV antenna uh, right here in your kitchen area there's a little you see that little bubble there that's got your uh, your max air fan in there as well with rain sensor uh, built right in the TPO roof membrane folks see how this wraps over the sidewall it doesn't just end here it goes underneath this belt molding so that when the water runs off your roof it runs properly into your rain gutter the product they use the TPO is a uh, alpha Superflex. notice it's color matched um, and again it doesn't stretch out like an EPDM rubber so uh, it's thicker uh, more more um, abrasion resistant to tree branches and those sorts of things not saying it's perfect I mean you hit a tree branch hard enough there's a good chance you can puncture it uh, but again it's just far better material and they use the Superflex product uh, by Alpha which just when they're doing that radius it just bends that much nicer and uh, whatnot so again up on the roof Grand Design's doing all the right things walk on slide boxes you got the solar on this particular trailer so um, Come by, check this one out. I'm gonna head down the ladder. We'll be right back. All right, friends, we're back. We're gonna head up inside this 310 GK Solitude by Grand Design RV and uh, check out the interior of this trailer. There are so many things to talk about this particular model. I'm just gonna shoot around here nice and slow for a moment before we get rolling on it, but uh, Again, 310 GK, uh, Grand Design uses this living room layout throughout uh, a lot of their brands. You see it at the Imagine, you see it in the Reflection, uh, the Solitude, and some bigger units, uh, those sorts of things. 
Um, so many key aspects to this model that make it exciting uh, from the interior perspective. Plus this is the 2020, so there's some really nice additions and updates. You know, talk about one of the DNA items with Grand Design. Massive windows on the entry side of your trailer, folks. Like look at the size of the windows. You cannot get a bigger window, bigger windows in this trailer. I mean, you could go down to the floor, but why do you? Why would you? Why can Grand Design put in big windows like this? The structure is there to support a big window. Simply. Secondly, they're not afraid to spend the money on those sorts of things. The other thing they're not afraid to spend the money on is every single window in this trailer, except for one behind your oven and range, and they do that for cleaning purposes. Every single window opens. I seen a trailer at the Edmonton RV show, and I'm not gonna name names, but it had a great big window at the back, didn't even open, right? Um, you know, Grand Design, they're giving you that flexibility to be able to open up the windows, put in gigantic windows, bring the outside in, gives you beautiful visibility. Because this is a wide body trailer, folks, they're not having to stick storage compartments in the tops of their slide boxes. Okay, that's where some manufacturers, in order to create storage, they put storage in the tops of their slide outs. With this one, you don't. The height room, like the headroom in this trailer, folks, you've got like six foot eight a headroom in this slide box. Like I've got a ton of room above the top of my head and the top of that slide box, which allows them to put in those great big windows, which allows to be able to show a trailer of this size at 34 feet, 11 inches, makes it feel gigantic on the interior. Uh, new update for 2020, no more carpet on the uh, on the base of the slide out the main slide okay so people asked for it grand design responded and uh, you know helps you keep it a little cleaner the dinette that they use nice high back chair real nice styling no leg to bang your legs off of okay that table's mounted right to the wall and it's solid okay two of these chairs are folding chairs so if you want to fold two of them out of the way if it's just a couple heading out and you want more room around the dinette to get in and out you can put two of these chairs away and pull them out when you have guests real nice wood lay on the uh, window valances beautiful they've done just a fabulous job they've been running the wood inlay on the valances for the last couple of years now um, the theater seating that they use heat massage and electric open and close. You gotta be plugged into 110 power in order to work it, or because this has the inverter, uh, you can flip on your inverter and operate your, uh, your theater seating quite easily. Uh, things that they've added as well, USB connections, 110 plugs on each side of your, your, your sofa here. Because this is a wide body trailer, folks, you do get a longer sofa. When this folds out, it makes into a king size bed, which makes it real nice for guests. Lots of walk space. I'm gonna to touch on a DNA item on this trailer. No heat registers in the floor, okay? Much stronger floor, okay? Less chance for dirt and debris going down into your heat ducts. You know, a lot of manufacturers, well, you have heat ducts in the floor of your house. Yeah, but they don't run them down the middle of your floor, okay? The other thing, a lot of manufacturers, they put a heat duct right in front of your couch, usually right about here, sometimes off to the side, whatever, okay? If you have your furnace running and you have your sofa folded out into a bed, you're gonna bake your guests, okay? With Grand Design, right from their inception, and they did this because this is what RV owners wanted. They surveyed RV owners at campgrounds before they built a single trailer, and this is one of the things that people came up with that they really disliked about trailers was heat ducts in the floor, having to sweep around them, stepping on them, breaking them, getting soft spots in your floor. So Grand Design, you see that heat duct on the end of your island there? It blows out across the floor. What's beautiful about that, folks, Depending on the products, I've seen it where the slide outs will cover the heat ducts in your floor. Well, in trailers, you can literally run your furnace going down the highway uh, to help keep the inside of your trailer warm, your tanks heated, it's a sealed burner unit, you're good to do it. So uh, this particular product, you can run your furnace without having heat ducts covered by slide outs, uh, which, is, which is real nice. All right, tons of storage. There's your Coleman Mach air conditioner. They use the Coleman Mach brand, most efficient uh, air compressor in the market that they're using. It's not the Dometic or the Furion models. And then up front, you get that extra 15K AC as well. So fireplace, they've gotten to the wide angle fireplace, 5,000 BTU heater, beautiful look to it. Drop down television. I'm just gonna lower this TV down and I'm just gonna show you this go down. 
because you get a window. See, security purposes too, you know, depending on where you park your trailer, you may want to hide your TV out of the way. Uh, we've heard some stories from customers where, you know, people get into the trailer, they pull the, the bedroom TV off the wall, but they can't find the living room TV and it's still there, undisturbed, things aren't broken, that sort of thing. So there you go, that sucker's tucked down out of the way. Beautiful. You've got the Jensen uh, stereo in here as well, wall mount stereo. You can download an app to your phone and connect Bluetooth style right to the stereo and operate all the music throughout the trailer, operate the music zones. You've got three zones, uh, inside living room, inside bedroom, and then you've got your outside uh, speakers uh, for your, your speaker zones as well, which is real nice. New upgraded faucet, residential style, new for this year. Rob Groover, my buddy, the product manager, Nate down at uh, Grand Design has done a really good job just adding and staying on top of things and just doing those nice little additions to the trailer to just really enhance it. But great big island. This is the GK island on this as well, folks. Uh, you've got some indirect lighting behind here, which is cool. Um, but you've got dishwasher prep or what I would call epic boot storage. Uh, where is it here? Washer dryer prep, sorry. They changed it. So they used to have the cupboard, my fault, my bad, I should know. Uh, they used to have it where this cupboard opened up on this end, but now they've gone to the scour pad uh, storage tray and extra storage on the front side of your island. Before it was just a blank panel here. So this is actually a nice little touch and you can do the epic boot storage over on this side here. I guess epic is one word to call it, but you've got storage there. There's your breaker for your uh, inverter and solar system. And uh, there's the panel for your Jaboni solar and then your converter box, uh, easily accessible. The other thing that's really nice with this trailer folks is that you can access the refrigerator when the slide out is fully retracted, uh, which is nice. So you can get at the fridge, it does block off your pantry, those sorts of things. Um, but here you've also got shoe storage tucked up underneath that stair. Uh, first stair there so not bad for shoe storage which is good and then you've got the hutch convenience center right at your front door so you got the uh, pre-wire for your generator you've got your tank monitoring you got all the switches for your hot water heater your tank heaters interior lights porch lights switch uh, uh, slide out switches awning switches all of those things uh, in your kitchen here, I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but you got the big, big uh, drop down receptacles, Furion standalone gas range, the oven. Nice thing is you can light the oven with the knobs. You're not having to get a sparker anymore and get on your hands and knees and uh, light that oven. So convection microwave, stainless steel style, beautiful look. You do get the Norcold gas electric refrigerator in this. Uh, is standard. Um, you can option in a residential package. Um, we don't stock them that way, but we can bring in, if you want a residential fridge, you're parking it on a seasonal site or something, that's something you want to prefer uh, to have. We can get that. Also, the interior color, folks. Um, this is the Java interior. If you prefer something lighter, you can get the uh, linen interior. The only thing that changes, though, I'll tell you, is the seating, meaning the theater seat, and the sofa. And again, true to Grand Design's form on quality, folks. They give you the option to be able to change it, uh, but everything else stays the same, and that has really helped their quality. Talk about quality on assembly lines. Grand Design, every single product they manufacture has its very own assembly line. They're not building two or three or four different brands on one assembly line like many other manufacturers, and that has really helped their quality. Whenever a manufacturer changes the assembly line with products, that's typically in our experience experience um, where QC goes down quite drastically. Beautiful uh, decorative roof design. Real nice look there. So uh, we're going to shoot up up here to the upper deck. Again, you've got this dust sweep for your vacuum there to connect your hose, all those sorts of things, all vinyl up, upper deck. They did that last year, new touch and uh, coming up into your uh, bathroom area. So real nice vanity with shelving inside. Lots of counter space, under counter mount sink as always. Um, they've got the new Encore 
fiberglass shower surround. That floor of that shower sits a little lower than the uh, than the floor of the trailer, which is nice. So getting in and out of the shower is a lot nicer. You're not stepping down out of the shower, which can be a bit of a slip hazard. But you've got the sit the seat in here. You've got the extra uh, design and shelving, fully adjustable shower head, glass sliding doors. Beautiful porcelain foot flush toilet. Okay, notice. No heat register on the floor. The heat duct comes out through the wall. Grand Design DNA item. Extra storage in behind. And then you've got the shower, the um, house coat hooks, towel hooks, that sort of thing. Safety feature, Grand Design. On bathrooms where they don't have the access that goes from the bathroom in or from the bedroom into the bathroom, they do a pocket door. Okay, a lot of manufacturers to save costs, they'll do a pocket door. The door always swings this way. So in order to get into the bathroom, you got to walk down the stairs to open the door to get in. Also, some of these manufacturers have come with this goofy, real thin bathroom door that's on like this weird pivot. Man, those things break like crazy. We've heard lots of customers running into those doors at night and breaking them off and those sorts of things. So grand design, nice thing. That's a solid residential style door slid out of the way, uh, which makes getting in and out of that, uh, that bathroom so much nicer. Uh, the ba bedrooms in the grand design products are fantastic. Again, because this is a wide body trailer, you get so much more floor space here at the foot of your bed to be able to you know get dressed we optioned in the king size bed you can get a queen if you so choose they still give you the shelf on either side of the bed here but when you go to the queen that shelf has a unit that goes right down to the floor so we can switch it out if that's something that we have to do on the fly uh, but this one does have the king size bed they've added the usb connections on either side of the bed with 110 plugs so if you have a cpap machine that sort of thing behind your door here <coughs> your doors You've got it on this side here. So lots of connectivity with power, uh, those sorts of things. I love their slide out here in the, in the solitude. Uh, you know, you've got the, the window above the headboard, either side of the bed, cross ventilation. Uh, you know, if you heat up at night and you wanna just get some fresh air coming in, so easy to do it in this particular model. And then you've got the sliding door. Look at the, 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 the front closet in this, folks. Beautiful, you got the shoe shelf in here wraps all the way around down below tons of storage they do give you that light inside and then you've got the um, stackable washer dryer closet if you so choose or just extra storage you could do a combo unit in here if you'd want for washer dryer and have the storage above you could do that too so all the plumbing's in there lift up a jewelry box here on top of your your dresser six drawers there comes with the television all wired up ready to go and then here you want to look underneath the bed that's going the extra mile look at that they use finisher grade plywood it's not a chipboard on the underneath side of your mattress um, or a rough cut plywood double gas struts they finish everything off so nice the caps, you can put your laundry hampers down here. You can have his and her laundry hampers on either side. Jewelry tray there again as well, right there. And then you've got the pull-out stool as well to be able to sit down, put your socks on in the morning and extra storage here. So again, just look at the fit and finish. They're really doing a su superb job uh, with their under beds. You want to start looking at qualities of trailers, folks. Start lifting things up and looking behind things. And that's where Grand Design shines is the things you can't see. For example, they frame in around all of their window openings on their trailers. Okay, you take a window out, it's framed in with aluminum. A lot of manufacturers, folks, don't frame in their window openings. And over time, that's where you get moisture intrusion and all of those things. So you get the nice handle going down the stairs to help you. So I've talked enough. This is a 310 GK by Grand Design RV here at Woody's RV World in Leduc. This is a long video. And uh, again, the way I look at it, folks, if you're going to spend, you know, close to $100,000 uh, on a fifth wheel here in Canada, you probably want to know a little bit about it. And uh, that's what we do here at Woody's RV in Leduc. We educate you. We want to come alongside you. You know, the beautiful journey called life that we go through. We want to be a part of that with you. And hey, why not do that with a, with a well-built trailer by Grand Design with unbelievable customer service uh, from Woody's RV Leduc. We're, we're a... a exclusive Grand Design RV dealer. That's all we sell for our towable products because we believe in the company, we believe in the products and they believe in us. And uh, you know, they support us tremendously. So it's a great partnership, great relationship. 
and uh, we want to want to be a part of that with you. Give us a call, 780-986-1234. Again, Clayton Phillips, Woody's RV World Leduc. Thanks for your time. Take care. Happy camping.